to a rare glimpse of an outsaw, outlaw motorcycle meeting. 7.30 has gained access to members of the Rebels in Brisbane. They and their families are now pleading for the state government to repeal its tough new legislation ahead of a looming High Court challenge. But police say they need the laws and they're ramping up their operations after intelligence into the building and gym industries. Josh Bavis has the story. <laughs> It might surprise Queenslanders to see so many Brisbane rebels together in one place. They're here to talk to the ABC, but they've actually been gathering every week since the introduction of the bikey laws. The gang members might have been banned from their clubhouse, but there's no law stopping them from meeting in private homes like this one in suburban Brisbane. And there hasn't been one major criminal organisation bust. They're speaking out to try to win the hearts and minds of everyday Queenslanders in a PR battle that's only just beginning. We had concerts over the years that have thousands of people attend and they know there's never any trouble there. You know, they've, they've witnessed it for themselves and then they know who's telling the truth. The government declared war on outlaw motorcycle clubs has absorbed every available police resource. First, sweeps began in the clubhouses. Every week, more were arrested on charges relating to drugs, extortion, weapons and assaults. We will take whatever action we can uh, to stop this menace. If somebody, whatever club they're in, if they've broken a law by doing drugs or whatever, then they should go to jail and uh, suffer the punishment. It's got nothing to do with the rest of us. Then police came for alleged bikies and their friends meeting in pubs, hotels or having an ice cream. To date, about 570 people have been charged with more than 1,200 offences. And while it might seem like it's reaching a crescendo, police say they're just getting started. It's in months uh, and years in relation to these operations. It's not in a, a matter of weeks where we get a, uh, a successful conclusion. The clubs say the stakes have never been so high. By July, workers in tattoo parlours and in certain trades will have to prove they're free of bikey associations. If these laws aren't repealed, I'm out of work. I can't work anywhere. I don't have a criminal record. Family members say they're the collateral damage. What if I'm walking through a shopping centre and I come across a member and his wife in the shopping centre? Do we then have to scurry to either end of the shopping centre? Are we then doing the wrong thing? Tracy Kosenko says her life changed the morning her husband's club was declared criminal. I would love to go on a double date with the Premier, his wife, my husband, Let's just sit down and talk because I can guarantee he could sit down for five minutes with us and go, I made a mistake. These people are so normal. We are not targeting uh, the families, but we are definitely targeting criminal organisations. Others say they weren't drawn to the rebels for criminal reasons. I did uh, two tours of duty, operational tours of duty overseas. Um, when I left the military, I became a little bit ill. I had difficulty in my life. Um, my marriage went south and I was finding it difficult to just survive, I guess. But there's little sympathy down at police headquarters. The vast majority of uh, of these gangs, the, the gang members have had some sort of uh, criminal history, whether, whether it be some time ago or, uh, or current. Earlier this month, three alleged rebels in Townsville were charged with meeting in a gym with drugs in their possession. And last week, an alleged rebel from Ballina was charged for trafficking amphetamines across the border to the Gold Coast. And police have received intelligence reports about bikey links to the building industry after revelations this week of collusion between unions, companies and bikies in New South Wales and Victoria. The tentacles of these gangs, they reach deep into uh, many of our industries uh, in Queensland and uh, where we have the ability to uh, route them out, uh, we will. 
police have also told the ABC they're now targeting suburban gyms and fitness clubs and could ask the government for the ability to order background checks of people in the industry. The patch members distance themselves and get the underlings to do the dirty work because they're the ones that go to jail and get caught. And that's the beauty of the new, I suppose, new legislation. It gives us an extra tool to target the patch members. Show me the organised crime. Show me. Show me all this money we're making. Show me where it all is. It doesn't exist, for starters. And if a member gets caught with drugs, that's him getting caught with drugs. That's not the club getting caught with drugs. That's not my husband getting caught with drugs. Did you hear any more about that paperwork yet, Mick? The paperwork for a High Court challenge to the anti-bikey legislation is expected to be filed within a week. But with Anzac Day just a few months away, club members say they fear being jailed for having a beer on the day with fellow veterans. It's quite possible that I could end up on the wrong side of the law and be classified as a criminal and jailed. Mr Premier, I ask you, is that organised crime? Is it a crime? What is it? It certainly wouldn't be our uh, uh, path on that day to take any action uh, on that day in relation to uh, criminal motorcycle gang members. In the meantime, the rebels say they'll continue to talk strategy every Friday night. He's coming undone with something. At last week's meeting, they were joined by the Australian film crew for Vice Documentaries based in New York. And he said, Mick, there's 10 pages. He said, your club would not make it past the first page. Both the bikies and the government say this is a battle they can't afford to lose. Even at home, you turn, obviously it affects all my family, with my wife, kids, everything. Very stressful, not knowing what the future holds.